I really wanted to put myself in the mindset of going to a car lot and seeing the car roll in front of me, and then I hear it, and I go, that, I want that car. Manmade Music is a company that focuses on sonic branding. The sounds they've created are now synonymous with global brands. Recently, Manmade Music was commissioned by Nissan to develop the sound for a new fleet of otherwise silent electric vehicles. What were the internal discussions uh, here at Manmade Music about what that sound might look like? So we had to think about it from the perspective of the way we think about all of our projects. How are we going to create an iconic vehicle sound, something that's proprietary for Nissan? How is that going to be built in a way that meets regulations and is emotionally appealing? The way it works is that the sound is actually just two and a half seconds worth of sound that's been looped, perfectly looped. So it sounds like one long tone, right? And every kilometer per hour that it goes up in speed, the pitch goes up 1% in pitch and speed. So the sound from zero kilometers per hour, where it's just idling, is going to be whirring along right here. And as the car accelerates, the pitch goes up and it speeds up too. So when it comes to that, you know, electric vehicles so far have had this whirring sound. How much of a departure did you make from, say, the gas-powered vehicle? Yeah, sure. Vehicle? Well, the internal combustion engine, all of them have sort of this irregular sound to them, right? right. Like, I think we know, like, the Harley-Davidson sound, and it's described as this patata, 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 you know. Does it scream, like, precision engineering? No, it screams muscular and, I think, that swagger. Moving over to an electric vehicle, there's not a combustion engine in it. And so we still want to convey a sense of power, but in this case, the brief wasn't so much about power. It's more, it's more along the lines of feeling responsive, right? And feeling new. This would be an example of a sound that we explored. But I could throw it into this program and it loops, just so I kind of, so I also can get used to the idea of like, what does it sound like for a long period of time? I don't like it, frankly. Right. But I can go like this. You can hear it kind of sputtering and stuttering. This is not actually as smooth as it will sound. Hmm. But I just know, I kind of know how that's going to feel. And then we probably iterate it, right? So it's like a cousin to it, but we tried lowering it because that was probably too fatiguing, but we still have right. a little flutter. Nissan just put a video up on YouTube, uh, debuting, I guess, the Kanto technology. Uh, they described it as Nissan Sings. Even though this doesn't sound like any car that has sort of been on a road ever, the concept, even from an auditory standpoint, that this is something getting faster, slowing down, is pretty clear without the speedometer. Yeah. Can you give us an insight as to what you think the future of sound design might look like? Well, sound is so much more than ever before becoming a primary experience component whether it's a vehicle or anything else. With the Internet of Things and so many different technologies that are emerging, interfaces are going away, interfaces are, are they're disappearing. And sound becomes a primary component to create presence and awareness, to give brand attribution, to convey meaning, to give emotional reactions. And as interfaces go away, sound becomes more important.